Welcome to part three of the Chicken Wire Ghost Bee tutorials. I'm Sandy, I'm from Spiral Crafts and Workshops and today we're going to be focusing on making the antenna for your bee and getting them attached on. Um, if you haven't got a body or wings yet then check out the links below. Part one makes the body and part two makes the wings and shows you how to attach them. But for this video we're just going to look at the antenna and getting those on. If you want to know about new videos coming up then click the subscribe button down below and the notifications button and if you've got any comments or questions then leave those below as well and I'll get back either in writing or I might even make a little short video if it's a complicated answer. But in the meantime let's get on with making our antenna and finishing your bee off. I'm going to run you through the tools and materials and then we'll get making. Let's go! Okay, I have moved on to the hands view so you can see closely what my hands are doing as we go through the making of the bee. But let's start with the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of tin snips, you're going to need a pair of wire cutters, and you're going to need a pair of pliers. You can either use flat nose or chain nose, that's easy either way. I've got my magnetic gadget which is telescopic, that picks up the, the loose bits of wire as I'm working and keeps me tidy and clean. I've got a pair of leather palmed gloves, if you can get leather backs all the better but you definitely need leather palms when you're dealing with the chicken wire. You will need a ruler at least 30 centimetres long, you'll need a marker pen so that you can mark the wire so you know where to cut and that is it on your tools apart from your safety glasses and some sort of canvas apron or canvas clothes which I've already got on to protect your clothing and protect your eyes while you're working. So because these are so important I'm just going to put them on now while we run through the other things that you're going to need in the materials department. First thing you're going to need is the chicken wire. Now this is for the body of the bee so it is 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. I will put a list of the measurements down below in the description so you can pick them up from there as well. So if the, for the bee body video you will need 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres of chicken wire and leave it in a, a rolled position. For the wings, when you do the wings in video 2 you will need two pieces of chicken wire that measure 18 centimetres by 13 centimetres and you want to flatten those out so that they're, they're nice and sort of flush to the to the tabletop. I wouldn't actually do that without gloves on because I can already feel it getting into my fingers. So you want two pieces 18 by 13 centimetres. Then when you get onto video three and you're doing the antennae, the materials you need are two pieces of one millimeter galvanized steel wire and these are 30 centimetres in length. So you want two of those, one for either side of his head. And that is all you need to make your ghost bee. So let's get started. Now you're on to the last steps now, we're in the finishing straight for doing your bee. So congratulations on making it this far. You should have already done videos 1 and 2, tutorial 1 will take you through making the body, tutorial 2 takes you through making the wings here and attaching those on as well. So now we're just going to add the antennae with the two pieces of wire and it'll be good to go. Let's get making. Now what you need to do, it might actually be easier by the time you get to this stage to take off one of your gloves or both of them because the, the wire's a little bit fine um, and just be careful when you're handling the chicken wire because it, it's still sharp and it will still get you if you're not careful. I've already got cuts on my fingers as it is. So be careful but it is easier to, to deal with the wire with, with bare hands. So what I'm going to do, just put him over there a second. So what I'm going to do is just fold this, well not fold it, but just bring the two points together the two ends of the wire together like that because I do want to find the halfway point I'm not going to fold it too too much so it's it's somewhere here somewhere here um, because I'm going to trim anyway I'm just going to help it so I know exactly where I'm going to pull it through like that 
and then I'm going to pull it back again. Okay. And then it says, I'm going to do the same with the other one too. I'm going to take the two ends of the wires together, find out roughly, give it a pull, find out roughly, make it a bit further up that way. So I'm going to do that. Roughly where the halfway line is, pull the two pieces of wire through so we get a very marked kink where the halfway line is and pull these two back out like so and straighten them a little bit. Don't need to be too straight at the moment. They do kind of need to be flat if you can make them flat so that they're, they're in the same plane more or less like that. Then gently take your B, mind your fingers and you've got your wings here on top and you want to put your antennae where the eyes would be you know so either side of the head here let's pull the, the shaping out a little bit and we could sit and fiddle for hours so i'm going to take a make sure it's on a a curl a, a twisted bit of the chicken wire because that's stronger and it'll hold the the wire better and i'm going to just hook that through like that so that it's it's through and attached and then I'm going to do the same again and pull the wires like that either side. Now get it into the place you want it. I'm actually going to go for a junction here. Or should I go for a junction there? I'll go for a junction there, I think. And then I'm going to pull the wire really tight, as tight as I can, like that, round. Okay. And then, keeping it like that, it still will move a bit. Then rotate the wires around each other. I do it with finger and thumb like this. You can do it individually and just rotate them individually. What you're after is an even twist. Don't worry about it moving at the moment. And then you want to twist the wire up its length. Sometimes it's easier to part it a bit better. And then twist the wire up its length. Sometimes it's easy just to, to do it one by one. I think you do want to make it tight. That's the only thing I will say. It doesn't look so good with holes in. I'm going to turn him this way so you can get a different view. And then twist it round and just keep twisting to the end. Try and keep it straight if you can, but you can get the pliers on it afterwards. So twist it round, twist, 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 all the way to the end. I don't want to rush it because you don't want gaps in it, because it, it just doesn't look right with gaps. So you want it nice and tight, and just keep twisting all the way to there, and you'll end up with Mind your fingers on the end because they might be a bit sharp. You're going to end up with something like that. So then I'm going to straighten. I might get my pliers in just to just to help. Don't press too hard because you might mark the the steel. It shouldn't be too difficult. If you've got um, if your jaws haven't got um, lines in them, then you'll be you'll be okay. So that's fairly straight. You've got these two bits at the end that I'm not that happy with. So. Take the cutters, put them so they cut the ends off. Okay, put your hand over, but don't go near the jaws. You've got your glasses on anyway, remember. So hand over and cut like that. Oh, through, and then you've got a single piece like this. So decide where you want the kink, because we want them to be. Oops. In. So if I bring in the previous one, you want them to be bent in an L shape like these. So decide that, oh I don't know, about, about there, just for the record. So I've, I've kind of picked there 12 and a half and I'm going for eight and a half. So the 12 and a half centimetres long and I've gone for, for the eight and a half position, somewhere there. And if it's going to sit there and go that way, 
So put it where you think it's going to sit and the angle it's going to sit at and then just stick a bend to make it L shaped like that. So that's your first stage once you've, you've twisted and cut. And then we need to go back to this, this loop here and we need to close it as much as we can because you, you won't have, it's still, you see it's still moving around a bit. I want to pinch that now. So, in, so put it in the place where you want it. Get your pliers on it. Whichever angle you can. And pinch it together like that. Now that stops it moving around anywhere near as much. There you go. So do exactly the same on the other side. No different. Take your loop. Decide where you want to put it. Pop it through like that. Pull it like this as much as you can. And then twist that one up to the end as well and I will come back to you and finish off in a second. There you have it. We've put your other antennae on and what's it out of the way? I'm going to put my gloves on so I can handle him safely because he's still chicken wire regardless of how cute he looks. There he is with his two antennae on and pointing in the right direction. You can always just give them a tweak if you, you want them to point in a slightly different direction. And he is good to fly round your garden as you want him. Show you there all the way through where you want him outside. You can hang him up with fishing line, you can um, put them with a nail and some string. Um, absolutely no problem with suspending them from trees and stuff. Be careful, they've got sharp edges, so please keep away from children and pets. Uh, but apart from that, you can put them where you want in the garden where they're going to look the best. So, well done. You've made your first chicken wire ghost bee. I'm really pleased. It's come out as good as it has for you. Keep up with us. Subscribe to the channel. There'll be more of these coming up soon. And we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.